Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we are discussing a certain actress podcaster who is coming after Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey's new acting gig and a law that was actually passed because of Taylor Swift. Let's get into it. Okay, starting off with what's been kind of... Big news is probably not even the right word to use, but this has been all over the internet the last few days. Um, Jana Kramer, who is probably best known for starring in the hit TV show One Tree Hill for a number of seasons. She is a country singer. She's, I think, now probably best known for being in a lot of Lifetime movies, Hallmark movies. Um, She is kind of coming after Travis Kelsey and by coming after Travis Kelsey, sort of coming after Taylor Swift. And a lot of fans on the internet have a lot of opinions about it. So let's get into what she said. So on Jana's podcast, which is called Wind Down, they started discussing the Travis Taylor relationship and Jana went in on Travis saying that she feels like he is quote, always drunk. Actually, let's just get into her full quote. This is what she said. To me, he's always drunk. Every time I've ever seen a video, he's just always drunk. And I hope she doesn't go on that. I see her drinking more now, like the company you keep. She also then went on to say, but it just feels a little corny, cheesy. It just feels like he's loving the attention. Okay, let's unpack these quotes. Um, because there's just a lot to get into. The first thing I will say is that everybody is entitled to an opinion, right? I'm sitting here with a microphone talking to you all. I have my opinions on things. I'm sure you have your opinions on things. Like people are allowed to say how they feel. It's not a crime. I also don't think Travis Kelsey is very concerned and also Taylor Swift is very concerned about what Jana Kramer says or thinks about them. I don't think they are really paying any attention to this and I don't really feel like they need us to fight their battles for them. They're okay. I think as long as they're happy with each other and feel secure and good in their relationship and with each other, then that's all that matters and they don't need to worry about what podcaster and Hallmark lifetime actress Jana Kramer has to say about them. But here's what I will say. The first thing is her quote about him always being drunk, I think is funny. And also we have to remember that we don't see, first of all, we only see Taylor and Travis out in public once every few weeks, maybe once a month. You have to think about the times that we've seen them in public have been these big kind of either monumental moments or they've been where they're out in public at an event of sorts where everybody else around them is partying, drinking, having fun. For example, the Super Bowl halftime or the Super Bowl, not not the halftime, the Super Bowl after party, right? Travis Kelsey just won the Super Bowl. Of course, they're gonna go out in Las Vegas and have fun and drink and whatnot. That to me, if you're judging someone based off of that, That's kind of insane. She then also might be talking about the Chiefs parade when Travis was on stage again, drunk, for sure drunk. But we also have to put it in context. He was celebrating having won the Super Bowl. Every single NFL player who's ever won the Super Bowl, I shouldn't say every single one, but lots of them are wasted at their their parade. That's just how it is. Coachella, again, a big party. Everybody in that environment is drinking, partying, having fun. Those are the only instances that I can think of, especially in the last handful of months where they've been out drinking and like partying. That's kind of it. Everything else we've seen from them is either them like leaving a restaurant holding hands, or you could maybe even point to Patrick Mahomes' charity gala, but I don't think Travis was drunk at that. Um, so I do feel like it's it's easy to think that someone's always a certain way or always acts a certain way because we only ever see them in that type of environment because that's the only time they're in public. Like we're not seeing Travis and Taylor when they're at home watching TV or when they're just like chilling out and relaxing with their friends. We're not seeing all of that stuff. So I do think it's unfair to put that judgment on Travis. I also think Travis, he is corny and cheesy. Like that's 
that's who he is. <laughs> I don't think it's a put on. I don't think it's him. That's that's like Travis's personality is he's loud and boisterous and yeah, he's corny and he's cheesy and that's just the kind of person that he is and that he always has been. And honestly, Taylor kind of is too. Like I love Taylor kind of has that corny cheesy vibe to her too. So I think it's sort of I think it's sort of unfair to like put that as a judgment again. And then the point that she made about him always loving the attention. I don't know that tra- I mean I, I'm sure there's an element of him that does thrive. I I think thrive is probably the better word with attention. Um but I also think he's just he's comfortable in the attention. Like I don't think he's somebody who runs away from it. The, the reality is that Travis Kelsey, because he's dating Taylor Swift, is going to get so much attention just because of who he's dating that he he has no other choice but to embrace the attention. Otherwise, it's going to ruin his life. So I do feel like it's unfair for Jana to fully judge Travis and Taylor. I think she doesn't really understand the dynamic. Um, but as I said, everyone's allowed to have their opinion and also I don't think Taylor and Travis care very much about it, but I am curious what you guys think of the comments. So let me know in the comments of this video, your feelings and thoughts about Jana Kramer's feelings and thoughts, because um, it's certainly taken the world by storm. Speaking of Travis Kelsey, it has been officially confirmed that Travis is stepping into the world of acting, into the world of Ryan Murphy, because Travis Kelsey is officially joining Ryan Murphy's new FX series, Grotesquerie, which was revealed yesterday. Um, and actually, one of his co-stars on this show, Niecy Nash, posted a video to Instagram welcoming Travis to the set. She, um, In the video, she said, guys, guess who I'm working with on Grotesquerie? and the video pans to Mr. Travis, um, which is really exciting. Travis, I think, I've always felt like he could be a really good actor because I think, well, we've seen him on Saturday Night Live. I think he, he was great on SNL. I think he just kind of has the natural personality to be a, a good actor. I think he can step into like the kind of John Cena, um, The Rock world where like, you know, going from, I guess they were both obviously wrestlers, but like, that kind of athlete to actor pipeline, I think Travis could definitely go down that route. And I think this is a great, a Ryan Murphy show because Ryan Murphy always does kind of interesting things. Obviously he's best known for shows like, well, American Horror Story, Glee, Scream Queens. Um, he did The Politician, Feud. Like he he's done a lot of stuff, but he, he kind of does interesting things. Like he cast Kim Kardashian in American Horror Story this year. Um, and he's not afraid to like do things that are maybe a little bit outside the box and a little bit different. So I think this is a good first dramatic role for Travis. And we don't know what who he's playing, how much he's in the show. Like a lot is still left to be um, found out. But if Travis really does want to make a career of acting post football, this is a good stepping stone for him. And I'm excited to see what he does and, and how he does. And as I said, I'm pretty sure this is like a horror drama. I don't think it's a comedy like Scream, Scream Queens or anything. So I'll be curious to see how he does in that kind of an environment. Um, and along with Niecy Nash, Courtney B. Vance and Leslie Manville are also starring in the show. So we'll have to wait for that to come out probably this fall is what I'm guessing. And uh, we'll have to see how Travis does as an actor. All right, final piece of news is that there has been a Taylor Swift bill that has passed in Minnesota, which is essentially going to be protecting concert goers, sports goers, um, and people going to live events in Minnesota for, for um basically protecting their tickets. Because as we know, with the Eras Tour last year, especially in the States, the just pain and agony that many people went through when it, when it came to buying Taylor Swift tickets, resellers upping the prices astronomically, all the hidden fees, et cetera, et cetera. So this law was signed um, by the governor of Minnesota. And basically, um, it uh, will require ticket sellers to disclose all fees up front and prohibit resellers from selling more than one copy of a ticket, among other measures. Um, so this law will apply to any tickets purchased in Minnesota 
going forward. And the funniest part of it, the thing I love the most, is that the um, the bill was called House File 1989 in honor of Taylor Swift. Um, so this is this is I, I I hope other states go down this route because as we saw with the Eras tour, it was just. It was crazy how how much people were selling their, their tickets for, how much I felt like these resale sites were profiting off of people reselling their tickets, people getting scammed out of tickets thinking they bought tickets, but actually they didn't. So I do hope that this will make the live experience for people going to events easier, more affordable, they'll feel more secure. Uh, and hopefully other states will follow suit and do the same thing so that people don't have to spend, you know, their life savings to go to a concert or sporting event uh, and also be concerned or worried about it being a scam or not being able to get in or whatever. So love it. Here's to more Taylor Swift bills being passed in the future. All right, guys, that is it for today's show. As always, let me know in the comments your thoughts, feelings, concerns. Please, please, please subscribe to our channel. We would appreciate it so very much. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.